Next on Spotlight and Southline, uh, we're gonna, we have back Pam Blair from Hope Not Handcuffs, an organization that started recently in Southline, and so we're, she's here to give us an update. Thanks for coming over. Appreciate it. So, so we spoke with you a couple of months ago. Things were just getting started. How are things moving along? Things have moved along very well. We launched 12 police departments in Oakland County in June, okay. including my zone of South Lyon, Farmington, Farmington Hills, and Wixom. Uh, we soon have NOVI coming on board with us, so we have placed um, 11 participants in Oakland County online in probably about the last month, and we've had two from the uh, Farmington Hills Police Department, please. So okay. things are picking up. Uh, the most difficult part is trying to get the word out. So thank sure. you for having me so that we can get the word out about the program. Yeah. Um, I also want to let you know that we are having an angel training come up on August 29th. Okay. That will be at New Hudson United Methodist Church sure. from 6.30 to 8.30. Okay. Uh, that is 56730 Branch River. Sure. If people would like to sign up for that training, they can go to hopenonhandcoast.com and sign up to be an angel and register for that training. Okay, great. So, let's say I sign up, I go there to get trained. What am I going to learn? What am I going to walk out of there with? You are going to learn how to help a participant who walks into the police department seeking treatment. Um, you will learn how to communicate with them, how to help them, offer them comfort items, compassion. You'll learn how to fill out the paperwork that's needed for their placement, and also you're taught how to make phone calls with the um, rehab facilities and community organizations that help them get into treatment. Okay. If there is treatment required, uh, I'm sorry, transportation required, we do provide transportation for them if they don't have their own transportation. Okay. Right. Gotcha. Oh, that's, that's a great service to offer. Um, so, the um, obviously very important um, in this community and the surrounding communities. Um, how would you describe it? Why is this important to have in our community? This is very important to have in our communities because the opioid epidemic is growing at an astronomical rate. Um, large percentages of increase every year, much more than before. There are so many overdose deaths. Um, and it's also important to treat any substance use disorder, but we particularly focus on the opioid epidemic and that happening right now, but we will help anyone with any substance use disorders to be placed into treatment. For me personally, I lost my son to an opiate overdose uh, last August 7th, so August 7th of 2017. So, um, you know, we do live in this community. It is a problem in this community. It's a problem everywhere. Even though people sometimes think that it's not in their community, it is. Uh, it's a real problem, and we are doing everything we can to address it and help with help, not handcuffs. Well, I'm sorry for your loss, and I hope that this is what, what you're doing here is helping you in part of the healing process. So. It is very therapeutic for me, and uh, it gives me a lot of passion for the program and a lot of satisfaction to be able to help others. Okay. How is this funded? Actually, it's a nonprofit. Um, so, they, through Families Against Narcotics and Hope Nine Handcuffs, they are now working on trying to get grants. Uh, you can also give private donations right. via the Families Against Narcotics .org website. Okay. Or hopenonhandcoast.com. So private donations are more than welcome. Okay, sure. um, all right, so you have the training coming up. Any other events you want to speak of? Um, I think that's about it for now. But there's trainings all over. So if you can't make a training in New Hudson, yeah. if you go to the website, okay. they're constantly adding new trainings and updating trainings in a number of different years. Gotcha. Okay, great. Well, again, thank you for being part of this and part of this, having this in the community. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, thanks for coming here.